Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today, we're going to be talking about the three secrets to marketing your business. And there's probably more than three secrets, but today we're going to go over three specific ones. For starters, you got three things you want out of a good, successful marketing strategy. You want more sales, you want more customers, and you want more revenue. It's the only three measurable things that come out of any marketing strategy. It's the only three things that really matter. And, and, and ultimately, you know, the reason I understand that that's what you want is because I'm a small business owner too. I want them as well. And so in order to really see those results long term and large scale, there's three fundamental things we're going to talk about that you need to lay down before you do any of your other marketing. So uh, first and foremost, understand that marketing your business is the only way <laughs> to make sales. It's the only way to get known. Because um, it doesn't matter how great your customer service is. It doesn't matter uh, how great your product is or, or you know, how cool it is or how for whatever, whatever, the, whatever your selling point, none of that matters if people don't know you exist. So when you market your company, you're putting the word out that, hey, we're here, we're awesome, we have this great product, we have this great service, and you should come be our customer because we're gonna treat you better than our competitors. If you don't market, how are they gonna know? Um, understand too that the results you're looking for, the, the larger revenue, the larger growth, the larger uh, uh, sales, larger, larger customer base, you can see some numbers, improvements short term, but the real results that you're looking for, it's, that's the long game. It's not going to come over the next few weeks or months. It may come over years or decades. And you got to understand that, right? Marketing and business in general is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Um, so, you know, we, with that in mind, if you're looking for the short term magical quick solution, I don't have it here. You're going to want to go somewhere else. Um, this is the stuff you want to put down as a foundation so you can have, like I said, those long-term results that you're looking for. And by the way, if you run any short-term marketing strategy, marketing campaign on top of these, uh, uh, on top of this foundation, you're going to see better results in that short term too. So let's talk about those three things, right? Um, cause like, these three fundamentals are, like I said, the solid foundation that all your marketing should be on top of. Uh, number one is, um, there's, there's no right way. <laughs> um, there's really, when you listen to marketing advice and all the marketing gurus and everybody that, that talks about, you know, how to best get your work, get your business, your name out there. All you really have is a series of what worked for me. There, there isn't a right or wrong way because every business and every product has a different brand, has a different personality and the consumers will respond to everything differently. So what you need to do, Instead of worrying about this is the exact list of things in order, you know, check these boxes and you'll have the results, is that you need to try new things. Get out there and test new ideas, new plans, new philosophies. See what works and what doesn't. See how the different adjustments you make change your results. What's going to wind up happening when you do that is not only are you going to find out what works better than others, but you're going to find out why and how it worked better than others so you can put that into future strategies and make it happen again. Secondly, um, stay true to your brand. Uh, there, was a, there was a survey we just uh, we wrote about in a recent blog in, in era, I'm sorry, a uh, uh, study we wrote about in a recent blog, and you go, uh, we'll, we'll link to it in the article below. Um, it turns out 50% of consumers uh, will, will choose a brand based on what they stand for. Out of those 50%, 67% will walk away from a brand because that brand didn't speak up on an issue when the consumers thought they should have. So when I say stay true to your brand, I literally mean don't be afraid to piss a couple of people off. Now, I'm not talking about going out and intentionally being offensive, but when you take a stand on issues that matter to your, to your target audience and you, you pick a side, as long as you're respectful about it, for the most part, People will, will, will use that information to decide their loyalty. And in a lot of times, again, as long as you're respectful about it, they'll take the side that matches their personal beliefs. If you stand up for something, if you stand up for whatever it is, instead of being afraid of pissing people off and putting out vanilla marketing, you will gain loyalty that you couldn't otherwise from, from staying opinion free. Um, the third thing, the third secret to uh, marketing your business is that you have to get to work. <laughs> it sounds kind of stupid, but marketing takes work. 
So if you want to gain the followers on Facebook, especially by the way, if we're talking about digital online social marketing, if you want to gain the followers on Facebook, get the readers to your blog, get the Twitter followers, whatever, whatever your goal in terms of your target audience is, you have to spend the time to put the posts up every day, to put the blogs up once a week or once a month or once a day. You have to spend the time to make the things happen. And if you're not gonna do it yourself, if you're gonna hire an outside agency instead, right? you need to spend the time with them to make sure that the strategy's on track. You need to make this time, spend the time with them to double check and make sure that they're doing everything up to par. Um, if you're not willing to put in the work, you can just kiss the marketing results goodbye. Um, when it comes down to it, it's all about action, right? If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. So, um, you know, keep trying new things, right? Keep using your brand's voice and, and keep endlessly working. Make a plan, right, ahead of time on exactly how you're going to attack your marketing, on exactly what goals you want to see out of it, and then put that plan into action. There's no better time than now. Um, guys, that's all for today. Uh, we will see you next month with, with our next topic and, um, you know, have a great month. Hey guys, well, I've still got you. Um, you know, at the end of this, uh, this vlog, we talked about planning your goals. Um, down below, if you are watching this on YouTube, there's a link to the page. Uh, and if you're on our page, there's a form down below. Um, fill it out. It's, it's three fields, your first name, last name, and email address. We're going to email you our marketing goals planning guide. This is this is a, a guide that we personally use to um, to hit our marketing numbers, to to find out what our goals should be for the next month, the next year. Um, there's no better time than now. I don't care where you're at in your business. I don't care where you're at in your marketing. There's no better time than now to decide where you want to be in the next 12 months. So guys, I encourage you fill out the form below. We'll email you. It's a quick tool. It only takes about I don't know maybe 15 minutes to put to use. And, and you'll know exactly what your targets you're trying to hit so you can then make that plan backwards and actually put it into action, guys. I, I really hope you take this information and put it to good work. Again, fill out the form below, get this uh, marketing goals planning guide and, and actually put it to use and make your you know the next 12 months of your business uh, bigger than ever. Guys, have a great month.